Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to my Reassembly series, Season 5, Episode 5, and the Void Raptors, which is coming along very, very well, actually. I really like this ship so much, in fact, I just spent the last two hours flying this ship and building up our social credits. Yes, if you look on the left side, we now have 51,371 social credits, and yes, it took about two hours, and th that was with this ship. I have not made any modifications to this ship. It was super fun. As a matter of fact, I'll give you a super 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 high speed version of what I just did for two hours. Okay, here you go. Did you actually catch anything there? Uh, I didn't. I don't know. But <laughs> I just wanted to prove to you that I actually did play for two hours and earn that money. I didn't cheat. So, yeah, there we go. We've got enough money. We can now upgrade and get the nuclear option and the obliterator. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I don't know. I don't know. It's just what I do. So, yeah, the reason I did that on my own is because, you know, we, we have the tournaments tomorrow. And uh, I wanted to be sure that I had some ships that I could enter um, for at least the 15,000p tournament. I think I, I think we'll have enough time now to enter into the 35,000 as well. I might have to do some duplicate ships or something, but that's okay. I mean, I don't know. That's okay. I, I don't mind doing that. But I have a couple ideas for some new ships. But yeah, this ship here, the Uniraptor. Actually, I want I want to make one quick change. Now that I've got you all here, I want to change the name of the Uniraptor. Super Suchi came up with something that's better than X1, X2 for different iterations of ships because these are like dinosaurs. This should be like an evolution phase. So he suggested EVP for evolution phase and I love it. Anyway, I, I thought that was really, really cool. So we can actually say this is evolution phase two. He, I don't know. He never said that it was based on anything. It just, I, I think it sounds better than X2, right? This is the Uteraptor Evolution Phase 2. I like it very much, very much so. And, of course, we'll change the X1 to EVP1. Now, the odds are I'm probably not going to keep Evolution Phase 1 in at all because uh, he has a factory and it's really going to be quite useless during the tournaments. But the Uteraptor X2 is pretty much ready to go I just want to make a couple more modifications and then it's good. Uh, primarily, I want to take off the harvesters and stuff because now, I mean, we have all the money we need. We don't need harvesters, right? So I'll be right back. Yeah, actually, I like this design so much. Like I've been using it for the last two hours and I have had a great time and been really successful. I like this design so much. I actually don't feel like I need to make much for changes. The Archaeopteryx, let's take a quick look at that. We want to make sure these are all fleet worthy now. Uh, yeah, so there's a couple changes I think we'll make here and I don't think I need to fast forward it. I think we're just gonna... I because I really like this ship too. This ship has been fantastic. Oh, there is a couple things I would like to do. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I could do this all day. I could sit here and try and modify this thing until it's probably way more expensive than I want it to be. I want it to be a fairly inexpensive ship. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I still want it to have some decent armor. So I removed the, uh, what are they called? The depots, which are used for storing resources. And they, they have some hit points, but not as many hit points as these armor plates, which are a thousand health apiece, of course, all around the core, which may extend its survivability. I, I might've gone overboard here because I still want it to be a fairly light ship, fairly fast moving, and with the hopes that maybe it might stab somebody too as well. So there we go. So we've got the Archaeopteryx EVP, evolution phase two, I like that, excellent. <laughs> very, very nice. Okay, so there... Oh, I should have kept the first evolution, but that's okay. We're going to start building the next version of... Or the next evolution of the uh, Void Raptors, which I'm really, really excited about. I've got an awesome name, and uh, yeah, away we go.
Okay, there she is. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, I love it. You're like, what? <laughs> I absolutely love it. So I, you'll notice this is this ship is only 6,000 P and I did that on purpose because I want to keep the size small enough that I can include a number of other ships in the fleet as well and still have really high combat effectiveness by having ships that are like this ship is constructed from one end to the other with uh, the core of it is constructed with the armor plates, which some are worth 1p, some are 0p, which is weird. You know, like the large armor plate, this one here, this block is 0p to put onto the ship, but it has 4,000 health. It's incredible. Whereas these little ones are 1,000p. Well, I guess they're pretty small to be 1,000p, but they're awesome. Anyway, so the core is constructed of all of that armor plate, which is really, really strong. Yeah, there's some weak points in the ship, but the goal was to try to give it I wanted to give it a particular look and you're wondering well what what kind of look you're talking about Rob well let me show you <laughs> yep, let's go to uh, BBC <laughs> this is a BBC web web page the Gigantor Raptor <laughs> I'm not gonna play the audio cuz I don't want to get you know flagged or anything but there she is isn't she ugly and beautiful I love her she's so cute look at the little tiny wings <gasps> oh the big fat head and and it's got little uh hold on uh, I I'm not trying to steal anybody's intellectual property. Oh, well, we'll talk about the other part of it in a second. I just want to show you her little face is so cute. I love her. Uh, yeah, she's really big, really big uh, flightless bird. Isn't she cute? Oh, I love her. Gigantoraptor. And it's got the little hook beaky thing on the mouth. And on the inside of the mouth, there's these little, uh, you'll see in a second here. Uh, yeah, please feel free to go to uh, BBC. Look at the little, oh, I look at the little teeth on the inside of the mouth. I love it. So also what's really, really important to note here, the eight meter long Gigantoraptor laid the largest dinosaur eggs ever found. So I figured really big eggs can kind of like be a nuclear bomb. The eggs are so big that they're like a weapon of mass destruction. So. That was kind of the theme here. So kind of an awkward shaped little ship with a little skinny neck. Yes, it's it's totally a vulnerable point and I get that. And a big beak with kind of these two little teeth on the inside and then a pointy little beak thing on the, and then of course uh, the obliterator in the head because you know, that can do a lot of damage. And then of course, as its secret weapon, it can lay these massive eggs of doom. And that's the nuclear bomb. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so we have to take this thing for a test flight. <laughs> Whoops, oh, we forgot to rename it. Uh, so this is the... <laughs> Uh, Gigantoraptor, Gigantoraptor, and this is the EVP Evolution Phase 1. Now, we may have a couple of evolution phases here because, uh, of course, we have to test flight. Oh, actually, it actually does kind of look like, if you look at the beak, it kind of has that same kind of uh, uh, look as this guy. I don't know if we can find it again here. Yeah, it kind of has that little, yeah, 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 it kind of has that look, right? I kind of like it. Yeah, that little beak in the front. Oh, I love it. It's perfect. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Oh, and also I kind of designed it uh, so that uh, the back little area here would be protecting the nuclear weapon. And I didn't want the nuclear weapon facing forward because it would get shot out pretty quickly. So, and I, I wanted as far back as possible behind all this other stuff so that, you know, there's a lot of stuff to shoot through. The, uh, whatever. Let's, let's, let's get this going. Uh, let's, uh test out the Gigantoraptor. Welcome to the Void Raptors, Gigantoraptor. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. I'm in a weird mood today, so I apologize if, you know, I'm freaking you out. But I guess I'm in a weird mood every day. <laughs> um, we have to figure out bindings. I've never, this is the very first time I've ever used the nuclear, um, nuclear weapon, so, or the obliterator. So I'm pretty excited. <gasps> Zap! <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so, and then the nuke. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. So I'm assuming that we can target with that. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, and the nuke's gone. Okay, so we're going to have to, oh, turns, actually turns pretty good. We, I would love to put some, some engine, more engines up front. But, you know, the, the front's going to get shot off pretty quick. I, I feel, I feel like that would be kind of a waste. Now, it is slow because it's heavy, very, very heavy. I suppose we could add just a couple more engines. I don't want to go too much higher. 
in in P though. I, I want this ship to be in kind of the the lower range for a capital ship. <laughs> okay, so and bindings. All right, let's. Uh, yeah, I think these guys, all of the uh, the annihilators, are going to be point defense. All of these guys are going to be point defense. And then, of course, the obliterator will be left mouse button, and the right mouse button will be the nuke. Oh, 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 I just noticed that we've got a little bit of a symmetry issue? Oh, no. Maybe it's just my eyes. My eyes might be deceiving me. Yeah, this is a totally vulnerable place, eh? Because <laughs> these are weak points. Uh, I don't know. It looked, it looked like it was... It's off. Oh, no. Maybe it's not. It totally is. Maybe it's just my eyes. Hold on, let's, uh, just to be sure. Flip. There, that should be right. Let's save that. Yeah, it was off. It was totally off. Yeah, there we go. That looks better. Um, and if you see any more asymmetrical pieces on this ship, I was going to build an asymmetrical ship, but I changed my mind. Okay, so let's go get into trouble. <laughs> Um, uh, we're quite a ways from trouble, so I might just uh, fast forward this part. Okay, I think we're getting close to some bad guys, and I saved, um, I saved some bee areas, you know, like the bees. I saved some of those areas, like the city builder bee guys. I saved some of those areas, like I didn't destroy them with my, my other ship, because I really want to see those nukes just blow up those cities, because I think that'd be so cool. <laughs> I am, I'm pretty destructive. I'm a, I guess I'm a destructive guy, but only with video games. That That's it. Um, okay, here we go. We are getting close. Now, this ship won't do so well against little ships. It is des designed to destroy the bigger ships. It has really slow, cumbersome weapons. Um, I'm kind of hoping that... Oh, this is this is not the place. Oh, uh, we, could, we could cut through some of it, but... Oh, well, there's something to nuke. Bang. Ha! <laughs> I love it! Okay, let's try the obliterator. Zap! Oh. That didn't do so well. Um, oh, we did put some reversing engines on here. Uh, zap! I wonder if I put this on... On... Uh, uh, what's it called? Hold on. If I put that on ripple fire, will it just keep firing? No. No. So I, if I had multiples of them, it, it might do that. Now, energy-wise, it seems to be okay. Um, I don't think I even put a reactor on here. No, because I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to need it or not. I'm kind of wondering if... Uh... Okay, hold on. <laughs> we got to go find the bad guys. Hold on, let's go Let's go find the, the city. That this, this ship is really specific. It's designed for killing the big ships. The problem is uh, the ships have to be really slow moving because that laser turns so slowly. And actually, we should be running, uh, doing this in keyboard rotate ship. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. That way we can uh, determine, we can fly in a different direction than our turret is facing. We can keep that charged up at all times, but I don't know if it's worth it. You know, like it does a lot of damage, but, uh, oh, here we go. Here, perfect. Let's try this on this. Zap, ooh, that, yeah, it, it works. Sure it works. And it, oh, it kind of, you can kind of do a, a wave with it, right? You, oh, schmutz. Haha, <laughs> schmutz. Um, and, of course, we still have the annihilators on the ship, too, that will uh, protect it from these small guys. But, you know, the annihilators are pretty slow targeting. And we've got the uh, the uh, the littler guns, littler versions of the annihilators, too, as well on here. Um, I just want to get to uh, some city builders or something. That, hold on. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I kind of launched a, lo a nuke. Sorry about that. <laughs> Pardon me, excuse me. Uh, oh, right, I'm on uh, keyboard control. I forgot about that. The nice thing is I've still got that beak, so I can cut through things if necessary. Forgot I was on keyboard control. There we go. All right, we're under control here. And I, I know I left... Oh, perfect, the plants! <gasps> the plants, perfect target for this. Okay, here we go. Nuke! So, spacebar should lock that. There we go. And this guy coming to attack. So we're just going to sit here. <laughs> awesome! Boom! <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Space bar, lock that target. Oh, this is great. Now, it is a little slow firing, but uh, it's not bad, actually. Whoops. Uh, yeah, i got to remember to lock the targets. That will help. Uh, so you use space bar to lock the targets. Uh, yeah, they can be shot down. That is, that is a problem. But 
you'll notice I haven't actually taken any, any, all the damage I've taken is superficial at this point, so well, that's kind of cool. I like it. I, it's not the kind of, you know, this this is a fleet ship. This is not the kind of ship that I'm going to fly. I, I don't... Uh oh, oh, we just lost her. We lost her nose, that's not good. Um, we actually have no other good weapons. Like, I don't know if this ship will be good in the fleet. Uh, we really should test this out. I think we should do some fleet testing. What do you think, guys? I think that's a good idea. Let's do some fleet testing. Hang on. Let's just bring the insectoids down to a reasonable level. Let's just get rid of some of the other odds and ends and bring it down. Oh, wow, this is a big fleet, man. Why is it? Oh, there's two Alpha Queen Mothers in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm trying to bring it down to about uh, 15,000. Yeah, that's good. All right. And let's bring the... Whoops. Let's bring the Aldra... Oh, Aldravan's pretty good. Uh, you know, we only need to remove... One or two. Yeah, one's good. All right, so we've got two 14,000 fleet. Let's bring this one down. Let's get rid of the... What I should do is make a copy of the Archaeopteryx in here. Because I think I think a couple Ar Archaeopteryx might be good. I don't know. I I, I, th I don't... This is, gonna, this is probably not going to be a great fleet anyway. <laughs> um, I do want to get rid of this one for sure. So that puts us down to 12,000. So I'm thinking we need to make... We also need to make some smaller little, little checks, right? Some little raptor chicks, uh, but let, let's just try this. I, I, I'm just curious. All right, let's uh, let's start. <laughs> so, uh, Gigantor Raptor against Philo Okay, so uh, Insectoids against uh, the Void Raptors. Now, the Insectoids. Keep in mind, I worked on the Insectoids for a long time, so they may actually be a problem. Yeah, I don't know if I like that big laser. It's too slow. I'd almost. Oh yeah, that head got shot off so fast. Oh, a couple nukes do do some good though. Um, yeah, we're getting a ch we're getting eaten alive. Oh, oh wow. Oh yeah, some neat tools now with the uh, with the tournament mode. Yeah, we can actually look around now, which is cool. Like the uh, the developers of Anisopia Games, they they did some some playing around with the tournament mode. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, which is fantastic to make it easier for people like me to commentate and, of course, watch the action as it happens. Yeah, the drones are a serious problem. I don't know how, we, how we're supposed to deal with all those drones. And look who's alive! It just happens to be the Uniraptor Evolution Phase 2, which we, which is a... Oh! Oh, he's alive still! Wow! Nukes are still in the air! Holy cow! Okay. But I'm not really happy with his, his uh, obliterator, like the big laser in the front. I don't know. Uh, we could we could replace that with I would be happy replacing that with uh yeah it was good it was good I I would be happy replacing that with um something else I I just don't think it belongs on that ship so let's go back <laughs> all right let's get to relative safety here and let's make a couple more modifications to the ship and maybe we'll build a couple little ships um, because I think that would be really important for, especially for fighting off drones and stuff, you know, you just want to have some little fast ships that uh, just run around and, and shoot little guys, right? So let's make a couple modifications. Uh, first off, yeah, let's get rid of this obliterator. I, I, I think it's just, it's too slow. Even for the tournaments, it's too slow. It doesn't do, I mean, it does a lot of damage. It does 2,000 per discharge, which is incredible. But it's, it's only twice that of the Goss Beam. And the Goss Beam is only worth 450p. We could put you know, a whole rack of these Goss Beams in, in place of that, and still not spend as much uh, P. I'm not going to do that. I, I I don't want the Goss Beams in there. I, I don't, I, but I, hold on. I'll be right back. I'm just going to make some modifications to the ship. Okay, so the Evolution Phase 2 Gigantoraptor, and I forgot to save the first one again. Now, it doesn't look quite as much like the the actual Gigantoraptor, but it I think this is sort of where I want to go. This is a this is a egg-laying delivery system. It's it's a nuclear bomb delivery system is what it is. It's a heavily armored nuclear bomb delivery system. So, the goal is that 
you know, it's going to take a long, hopefully a little bit longer to get through that front armor so he has enough time to launch that nuclear missile. And of course, he's got some lighter guns along the way here to help defend himself against things like drones. Uh, maybe not enough, though. I, six guns? I don't know. Six little guns against the drones that we're facing? Like, I mean, the insectoids have so many drones. Like, And of course, there's going to be lots of people with lots of drones. So, I don't know. I guess we could do another... No, see, I don't want to. I don't want to replace any of that good armor in the center of the the vehicle. So I think I think we'll give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Why not? Okay, <laughs> let's save it. And so yeah, we got rid of the obliterator. I think it was a waste. Um, I think for the purposes of us playing here, I think we will take control of these guns. Yeah, and we will leave the nuclear missile as the right mouse button. There. Then we have control of some guns. Yeah. Yeah, I like that better. For my for my own purposes while I'm playing. Um, here, that gives me a little bit of control over what we're shooting at a little bit. I'm kind of, let's get back to those plants, because uh, I I like the the nukes are cool, but it's you know it's it's a well obviously it's it's a one-shot deal, right? Oh, those are the ex these are explodey blocks? Hold on. I'm pretty sure these are explodey blocks. I they used to be red. Yeah, they're no longer red, so yeah, they cause more damage to us than they than we do to them <laughs> stab <laughs> I, I actually I actually like the look of this better it doesn't look as much like the gigant gigantoraptor as it did before but uh, I do like it I like it very much um why are my other little guns not firing yeah they're they're barely firing at all did we not set them up yeah, they're still set up as point defense. I think we, we maybe need some more on this, but I, the nice thing about this ship now is that it's far less expensive to put into the fleet, so we can actually have a couple of them. So we have a couple nuclear bomb delivery devices, which will be really, really, really handy, I think. Uh, come on. There we go. Oh, see, and that's what all that front armor is there to be. <gasps> what the? Oh, all those. Oh, bloody nuclear missiles. Oh, oh, city builders. Oh, we got to go. Come on. We got to nuke the city builders at least once. The bees at least once before we go. Um, and then we'll finish maybe building uh, our, our last ship for the fleet. And this video is probably going on way too long. I have no idea when I'm building the reassembly videos because um, I do a lot of fast forwards and stuff. And to be honest with you, I in the end, I will have played reassembly for six hours today. And it's only going to be like 45 minutes of video footage or 50 minutes of video footage because I'll be fast forwarding a big portion of it. Um, <laughs> it's far better than uh, me putting up six hours of video footage of me figuring out which blocks fit in which way. There we go. Nuke. <laughs> Yay. Oh, yes. Oh, separated the whole thing. That's awesome. All right. Let's nuke this guy because, oh, uh, keyboard control. Why are we not? There we go. No, no. Keyboard. Ah, hold on. For some reason, I went into command mode. Don't know why. Uh, oh, there we go. Keyboard. There we go. So now we can fly the other direction while we launch our nukes. Our butt missiles! I've, oh, remember? I, what? Oh, for a second there, I thought the nukes didn't do enough damage to kill them. All right. They're all sitting at home watching TV, sitting in their little, uh, in their little uh, B buildings here, and boom! What? Oh, takes a second for it to explode. Okay, I was like, why isn't that destroying them? Nuke! Here they come! <gasps> They're all sitting there watching TV. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Oh, the nukes are amazing. Oh, hey, don't steal my stuff. That's my stuff, dude. <laughs> I did kind of blow up your family, your friends and your family and neighbors, but that's, that's okay. It's still my stuff. Nuke! <laughs> Another, oh, uh, do they change? Yeah, they change targets when I change targets. Is that right? I think so. Oh, that makes such short work. Such short work of the enemy. Oh, look at that. It's a good thing the nukes don't hurt us because uh, that would suck. Oh, I guess that didn't kill them that time. Weird. Okay, I... Nukey, nukey. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you can just totally obliterate these cities. Oh, that's so much faster than shooting them individually. <laughs> yes, I know I need to go finish building the fleet, but this is fun. I'm really enjoying this. Oh, it didn't actually destroy the city. So that's two nukes I get. Oh, no, there it goes. There it goes. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Guess I just got to be more patient. I don't know. Boom! <laughs> they really should have added more sound effects, I think, for the nukes, because uh, that would have been amazing. 
Uh, the nukes need like lots of sound effects. Yeah, this ship isn't really meant for dogfighting other ships like like this. Like it's meant for the big long battle of a fleet. Fleet battle, right? Oh, we we can't even take all that that stuff with us. All right, so let's go back and uh, finish building our fleet. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Well, let's just take a look here. Let's put this back. Bring these back out and then go in here. And we are going to remove the... Uteraptor EVP 1. Evolution Phase 1. Then we've got these three. And that puts us at 9,837. Which means we've got enough room to add another Gigantoraptor. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta go back. <laughs> Alright, so we've got enough room to add uh, one more of these. So that would put us at... Uh, I don't know what that puts us at. I, it would be nice if there was a total in here. Probably it's around uh, 13,000 right now. So we can build a couple of little ships. Uh, little chicks. So let's do that. Uh, let's... Hold on. <laughs> yes. Uh, two Gigantoraptors. So 13,173, so we have enough room for 1,827. <sighs> All right, so let's build a new ship. And we're prob this is probably two episodes. Well, we'll probably be posting these both up tonight because it's it'll just be too long. But here we go. We're going to build a new ship. All right, be right back. Okay, kind of looks like a chicken. It, it does kind of look a little bit like a chicken. So, uh, yeah, okay, so we're not going to call it chicken. We're going to call it the Micro Raptor. Somebody had suggested that one. I don't have that name in front of me, so I apologize for that. But uh, somebody had suggested Micro Raptor, which is actually a thing. <laughs> there is actually a, a dinosaur called a Micro Raptor. And if I remember correctly, it is a small dinosaur, and it kind of looked a lot like a Velociraptor. So, I don't know, that kind of fits. Um... Now, the goal here is just to have something small that we can build a few of, right? So, uh, I think that's good. We will save that sucker, maybe give it a little bit of a test run here. I'm hoping that it's fast. That's that's a key. Fast and highly maneuverable. Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, that's nice. Oh, very nice. Yeah, and it's got some missiles, and it's got, uh, of course, the little plasmas and stuff. So, that might be a good small light assault vehicle to just kind of keep you know the bigger vehicles occupied so we want to put a few of those in there you know this the kind of the kind of spacecraft we're going to be facing in this tournament is going to be crazy i i mean i i know that somebody have built some people have built fleets that are like i don't know they're like 50 ships or 100 ships or something and they're all little tiny ships like it's gonna be crazy like we don't stand a chance but i don't know i'm I, it's pretty fun i i don't know it's pretty cool all right so i like that hold on whoops Let's go back. Let's actually go here. And we're going to... Uh, okay, so... Okay, yeah. So, actually, I think we're going to raise the value. We either have to lower it or raise it so that we get a nice, good... Because we only have... I think we have 1,827, I believe, to work with. Which means... I'm just taking out my little calculator here. Um, yeah, if we... We, if we bring it up to about 450, that'd be a good number. Or bring it down to like, ah, I don't want to bring it down. I don't know. <laughs> I think we just want to add to it. So I think maybe add a couple more of the uh, the little plasma guns. Okay, there we go. I just can't help myself. I just keep making bigger and bigger changes and I have a feeling this thing's gonna be I I think it's I think we're one point over actually like barely one point over but uh let's let's just give this a little test spin I, I know it's gonna be quite a bit heavier oh quite a bit heavier <laughs> than what it was uh but let's give it a shot ooh, ooh, but it has uh, lots more firepower ah uh those are agents by the way I don't want to be fighting those guys come on little, little micro raptor whoops <laughs> oh, uh, all those guns are auto-firing. Oh, yay. Oh, plants. That's not good. Oh, this is a terrible place to test test fly, test fly a little tiny ship. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. This way. No, this way. Ah, uh, my engines are toast. I'm dead. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, we almost made it too. 
Son of a... Okay, well, this will bring me... Bring us back to a safer spot. <laughs> Whoops! Whoopsie! All right. Uh, where are we? Oh, there we are! Oh, very nice! Uh, doesn't really look like a raptor! But that's okay! Actually, I think he might serve our purposes just fine. So let's go to our bindings, and I want to test out all of these guns. And he's got missiles too, so let's just uh, put those all on left mouse button. There we go! Yeah, lots of power! Yeah, that's good! Actually, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Okay, so let's make sure that we've got enough... Or we've got the right amount of points, because we're aiming for 15,000 P so that we're eligible for our own tournament. Okay, here we are. I, I, You know what? Every once in a while I get a message from one of you guys saying, I'm only like one point over, is that okay? And I sent back a message, of course, saying, you know what, I, I, it wouldn't, it doesn't bother me so much, but I'm sure it would bother somebody. And for the tournaments themselves, because they're, they are prize eligible and stuff. But man, oh man, that is so frustrating. <laughs> one point, one point! <sighs> Oh, unbelievable. So, I guess... I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll go take a, a couple little engines off of Archaeopteryx, I think. <laughs> and then and then that's it. I think we've got a fleet. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, there we go. I, I probably cut out a whole bunch of footage here because it took me a long time to get this all sorted out and make it right. But yeah, so we've got four Micro Raptors. We've got one Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx Evolution Phase 2, one Uteraptor Evolution Evolution Phase 2, and two Gigantoraptor Evolution Phase 2s. So, in total, it is 15,000 P. We are ready for tomorrow's tournament. I'm super excited to watch my fleet get crushed. Completely, totally crushed. Um, so, yeah, tomorrow's going to be a lot of fun. We are not done with this series. We have at least one more episode to go. I want to build, of course, the battleship, the... Uh, the flagship for the Void Raptors, um, which we have not yet done, which will be our 8,000 piece ship. So I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.